tuning into my channel today. Today we are going to be doing a collective energy reading for Saturday, January 7th, <laughs> uh, 2023. Sorry, I had to think about that. I had to think about which day we're on today. So it is Saturday, so happy Saturday to everybody. I hope everyone had a good week and is able to take some time to rest, rejuvenate, spend time with family, friends, or even just spend some time by yourself. Because, I mean, when you're when you're working or you're doing whatever you're doing uh, on a daily basis, sometimes it's good just to be by yourself. All right, let's see what. Let's see what spirit has in store for us today. What are the collective energies? And I, as always, I do not accept any Archon, demonic, reptilian, or negative attachments during this reading. I only accept light and love in this space. And I would like to call on Archangel Michael's white light of protection during this reading. And I would like to ask Spirit, what are the collective energies for Saturday, January 7th, 2023? What are the energies for January 7th, 2023? What are the energies for today? All right. We have the Two of Wands, the Ten of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Justice card, Ten of Wands, the Tower. We have the Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Death card. All right, and the underlying uh, energy for the entire spread is the Hierophant. And I'm gonna pull a few clarifiers. We might need a few. I'm gonna pull a few more than I normally do. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, give me a second to look over these cards and to get the feeling of what, what message they are sharing with us today. All right, so I want to preface this reading with, I wanna preface this reading with, I feel like there is a lot of spiritual growth in this, in this spread, in this situation. And, you know, if this resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, that's okay too take what resonates leave what doesn't and just let the message um let the message fall where it does um so i feel like i feel like the situation is there's a searching, there's a, a yearning for looking for new things, looking at the horizon, um, trying to figure out what you're going to do next. What do you want next? Um, but I feel like there is something that is ending that. Um, there is something that's come in that's put a grinding halt to that searching, that wandering, that looking for what you wanna manifest in the future. Um, 
I feel like something is gonna come in and just go, you know what? It's not, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Um, or at least it isn't gonna happen right now. Um, because the Ten of Swords is as done as you can, as you can be. I mean, it's done. It's the end of a cycle. It's, it's over. Um, and we all go through times, uh, time periods where it's like the universe is like, okay, you can ask all you want, but this is what's going to happen right now. Doesn't mean it will, what you want will never happen. It's just certain things have to play out. Those can be soul contracts those can be karmic lessons those can be a lot of different things and those can reveal themselves as like deciding what you're going to to do next in your life you know do you take a new position do you um do you look for that new relationship um, there's something coming in that is like, okay, we're going to stop. <laughs> we're, that time is over right now, for right now. Because the entire, the entire universe changes on a daily basis. It is not the same. The, the movement of the planets, the stars, everything is not the same as it was is not the same today as it was yesterday. Um, the tides, the oceans, the temperatures, the weather, the climate, nothing is ever the same as it was the day before. It's always different. We are constantly living in a changing universe. Um, and I feel like I feel like you are, I feel like you are looking for stability. You're looking for news of stability in your life. Um, maybe that's what that manifesting, um, maybe that's what that searching for, that wandering um, energy is. Um, that's, that's over with right now. And we have the justice card in the root of the situation, which is all about balance, all about balance, writing those scales. I feel like this card keeps popping up more now than it did during, uh, during Libra season. Um, from September to October, I feel like it's shown up more now than it has. So this is a new year. Um, this is a new year and not every single person is going to have the same experience that we all did in 2020, where we all had like a really crappy year. Um, you know, 2021, 2022, you know, some people had awesome years, other people did not. Um, I feel like 2023 is gonna be a rebalancing. So if the last two years have been really rough on you, um, if you just haven't been able to, if you haven't been able to like get your feet underneath you, then I feel like this year is going to be the year that might that might change um it might be the year that you finally get your feet out from under you but f or, or that you finally get your feet underneath you um but i feel like for that to happen things certain things are going to have to end certain things are going to have to change certain imbalances are going to have to balance out for that to come in. So I feel like this justice card is letting you know that there is going to be a rebalancing. This this entire situation is a rebalancing. Um, 
and in the past position we have the ten of wands which is all about feeling overburdened feeling like it's just too much um i feel like i feel like it's been really hard for you in the past really hard i don't know for how long i don't know if it's been a rough couple months rough couple years maybe a rough decade you know i i i, I don't know um but I feel like, but I feel like you've been really overburdened. You've been really stressed out. You, you, feeling like you can't handle everything that's being thrown at you. Um, but you are somehow because you see, even though it's really hard for him to carry all those wands, he, he is doing it. None are falling, you know, none are falling out of his hands. Like, he's he's doing it. It's just, there may be times where you feel like, you, you, like you're not able to do it. In the future position, there is a tower moment. So, tower moments are acts of God. Um, where something just out of the blue just happens, just hits you, smacks you upside the head, and is like, oh, now you're paying attention. Um, and you're like, whoa, where did that come from? Um, so there may be, there may be something that just, comes out of nowhere and totally throws off your stability. Um, and I think it's going it's going to interrupt you searching, wandering, manifesting for a little bit. I I'm feeling like that's where this ten of uh, this ten of swords is coming from, um, and that's why it's blocking the two of wands. You may be too. You may be having your hands full, and with this tower moment and that's going to and that's going to stop all the manifesting that's going to stop the searching the wandering the the looking for answers um but i feel like but i feel like your perspective is is that you you can handle it through through quick thinking um tower moments are tricky because they do come out of nowhere it gives you they give you no they give you no warning they just happen you know car accident you know um you know, you wrench your back at work, uh, you get fired, you, um, your wife or, or, or your husband serves you with divorce papers just out of the blue and you're like, what the heck? Um, but as much as you need to keep your wits about you during a tower moment, because the worst thing you can do is um, respond. And if I'm moving really slow, it's because there's a lot of energy here and I'm trying to dissect, <laughs> I'm trying to dissect the information coming from these cards because there, there, there's a lot of information coming from these cards today. Um,
you need to keep your wits about you during a tower moment. However, um, you can overthink a tower moment too. Um, because the whole purpose of a tower moment is for something to end in your life so something new can can uh, replace it. So you don't want to be overly emotional. You don't want to be overly analytical about the tower moment because it's going to happen regardless. Um, that's why it's an act of God. Something or that's why it's often called an act of God because it just you don't you don't get to choose whether you um, are going to experience this tower moment. You don't. You don't get to. Um, it just it just happens to you. But I would be I would caution very I would caution to uh, not to overthink the tower moment um, because if you overthink the tower moment then you could be denying yourself the lesson that it's supposed to uh, ultimately teach you um, you could be blocking that and then guess what there will probably be another tower moment in your future because you didn't learn what you were supposed to learn the first time because you were overthinking the whole situation um, but definitely keep your wits about you because you need to make sure that you make good decisions and this is not to give advice at all this is not to give advice but i'm just saying um from ex my own experience it's like it's like surfing you ride the wave but you still have to keep your wits about it. you can't just ride the wave just without thinking about it there's a lot of thinking there's a lot of w watching watching the waves watching the tide watching you know the movement of the water and to know what you can do and what you shouldn't do but at the end of the day you still have you still have to ride the wave um there's no amount of thinking that can replace that riding the wave all right um There is some tricky, tricky energy here. There's some tricky energy. Um, and I feel like this situation, this tower moment, there's not gonna be any winners. I don't know if it's going to involve someone else. It might because you have the five of swords. So, There's not going to be any winners. There's um, there's a lot of underhanded stuff going on with this tower moment. And it's going to be keeping you up at night. It's going to be keeping you up at night. Like that's this whole thing is going to be keeping you up at night. So even though, even though you are trying, you, you may think that you can outthink, you know, um, this, this situation, this, this, um, tower moment and that you got it, you got it, you know, under control and everything. Um, you just gotta just let it, let it, let it happen. Keep your wits about you, but let it happen. But all of that, all of this mental activity is going to be keeping you up at night. Tr you trying to, trying to overthink this tower moment. Um, but at the end, of this entire situation at the end of this entire situation is the death card now that does not mean death that does not mean something bad's gonna happen. That does not mean someone's gonna die that does not mean any of that it means 
something is coming to an end, which you're already being told is coming to an end with the Ten of Swords, with the Tower moment. Like, something is coming to an end. But guess what? Energies... Energies... Energies don't just disappear. They transform into a into a new energy. So this energy that you're currently in before this tower moment happens, okay, is not going to just go away into the ether. No, no, no. It's going to transform into something else. It's going to be an ending, okay? And then something new is gonna replace it. Energy does not just disappear, it transforms. So this is, I like to call it the death and rebirth card, not the death card, the death and rebirth card, because something has to die for something to replace it. That's just what, what has to happen. And that can be in great things too, okay? So I'm gonna give an example. You, you have to end, okay, you have to put a stop to, you have to allow it to die, okay, a relationship with someone that you're going to marry. You have to allow that boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 boyfriend, boyfriend, what, whatever, you know, um, situation it is, okay, you have to allow that boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, type of situation to die in order for something to replace it. And guess what? That's, you know, if you're, if you're going to get married, you know, then that's going to be fiance. Okay. And then guess what? That eventually dies. And then guess what replaces it? Husband, wife, you know, or husband, husband, or wife, wife. Like, sorry, my video cut out. So what I was saying was, was that that dynamic, that relationship dynamic has to come to an end for a new dynamic to, to replace it. So that's, that's what I'm saying. And it can be something as great as, as you know, having, having a boyfriend or a girlfriend and then all of a sudden they're your husband or wife. Like, like you know, that relationship, that dynamic Okay, that situation has to come to an end. It has to die in order for something to 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 be birthed from it, to for something new to start from it. Okay, so that's that's what that's what um, I'm I'm saying with this. But I feel like this whole situation is going to be giving you a whole bunch of spiritual growth. It's going to, it's going to really, really cause you to grow in ways that you didn't think were possible. Um, again, the universe doesn't give us more than we can handle. <laughs> Our angels and spirit guides don't give us more than we can handle. Um, so when we're given tower moments, it's because the universe knows we can handle it. We can handle it. We're ready for that tower moment in our life. And we're ready for something to end so something else can begin. Okay, so something else can be birthed. All right. Um, could I get a clarifier on the Five of Swords? King of Pentacles. I really feel like, I really feel like this has to do with, it, it, it could be connected to a relationship, it could be a divorce, it could be um, a divorce that, you know, your significant other um, wants half of everything you guys have. like. Um, but I really think that this is somehow tied to 
to financial to some sort of financial situation something is being rebalanced here so um, can I get a clarifier in the nine of swords king of wands all right so I really feel like I really feel like that through the, that through all this worrying, okay, that's keeping you up at night, that you're going to, you're going to be able to do what needs to be done in order to get through this. And again, that goes back to my example of riding the wave, surfing. Like, you know, you have to keep your wits about you. You have to be smart with, with what you do and how you do things. But it doesn't mean, okay, um, that you need to overanalyze, overthink. Just be smart about what you do, okay? Listen to your own intuition. Um, listen to your higher self. Consult your guides and angels for for help, especially if you need it. Like that's why they're there. Can I get a clarify on the death card? Wheel of Fortune. So this is this is going to happen. Like we have the tower, we have the death card, <laughs> we have. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune card. So this is going to happen. Like the universe wants this to happen for a specific reason. Okay. And we all know that it, that when stuff happens in our lives, it's so we can learn from it. So we can learn from that. Yep. Yeah. This, this was going to happen, and it's going to put you on a much better path because you have the death card, and then you have the Wheel of Fortune. So, so that's like, okay, it's bad now. Something's going to die. Something's going to go away. Something's going to be eliminated from your life, but the future, okay, is, is much brighter. You're, you're going in a, in a much better direction. Awesome. All right. Can I get an energy oracle card? Let's see what energy oracle card would best would best assist uh, would best <laughs> explain uh, the energies in this spread. I have a pretty good idea, but let's see if there are any additional messages about the energies of this spread that we need to know. All right. Whoa. Journey. Yeah. This goes back to the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. So it's, this was put on your path for a reason, okay? The universe, whoops, wrong card. <laughs> the universe put this in your path, put this as part of your journey, okay? And we all, we all get to, we all get the, um, sorry, I just blanked on a word. Um, we all get the opportunity, okay? to choose what lessons we want to learn in this life before we incarnate back here on on the earth okay when when, when our souls incarnate back here all right we we are signed up to learn different lessons it's the lessons we feel like we wanted to learn more of or or it's karmic contracts that we have with 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 other souls okay with those are called soul contracts um 
And sometimes, sometimes it's not necessarily that we're learning something out of it. Sometimes it's that we're helping someone else learn something, okay? So anyways, all of that is part of your journey. All of this is part of your journey. So don't feel like it's being, like it's the universe um, picking on you that it's that it's spirit or god um you know punishing you or whatever it's it's not it's it was always going to be part of your journey it was always going to be part of your journey all right can i get a keepers of the light oracle card Wow, these are popping out. First thing, okay, we have Bridget, inner strength. Move back to wholeness, recognize that you have the power. Okay, so inner strength. This is gonna take a lot of inner strength, but you, you have what it takes to get through this, okay? And a lot of it doesn't even have to do with, a lot of it doesn't even have to do with um, trying to think through the situation. Okay, you have this power, you have this strength in you to get through this because you, okay, agreed for this to be part of your journey, okay? So it was already predestined, you already agreed to it, for it to happen, okay? So, and I know that's a lot easier to say being outside of a situation but it is what it is how the universe works it's the school that is this earth um this earth school okay all right can i get a spirit animal oracle card today what spirit animal oracle card would best assist in the energy of, these are sticking together today, uh, best assist in the energy, wow, I said that and then they all come apart. <laughs> and you thought the universe didn't listen. It does, listens to everything. All right, hedgehog spirit, time to let go. So, Again, this goes back to the um, to the example I gave about surfing. You know, there's a certain amount of control you have to let go of in certain situations, um, and just let happen. Okay, um, even the best surfers will tell you they can't control the waves. <laughs> they can't control the waves. They can watch the waves they can they can tell you when would be the best time to ride the wave but they don't know what that what the experience of that wave is going to be the entire time they have absolutely no control of it okay that's part of the letting go that's part of the allowing the universe to move in ways that you don't understand right now. Um, and you may not understand for you know, quite a while, but then you may look back one day and you're like, wow, I see why that happened. So can I get a uh, crystal wisdom healing oracle card today? Can I get a crystal? Wisdom Healing Oracle card today. What crystal would best assist us in this energy? Wow. <laughs> An Anandalite. Anandalite. I've never, I have not heard of that one before. And I love crystals, but I have not heard of that one before. So let's, let's learn a little bit about uh, Anandalite.
and a delight gently facilitates integration and releases emotional blockages standing in the way of spiritual awakening. It reminds us that consciousness is uh, omniscient, omniscient, sorry, um, and omnipresent, seeing all, knowing all. Immerse yourself in the mystical interconnectedness that is cosmic consciousness. You have the potential to live in a completely different dimension of consciousness. Recognize that you have previously operated within a narrow band of awareness. Attune to flash the divine light within your soul. Let feelings of separation fall away. Embrace unity. You are here to experience cosmic consciousness. Transform your goals and seek a new direction. You have exceptionally clear sight now. Stripped to the bone as the old falls away, do not despair, new light is infused. When you transform your awareness, human experience, humanity experiences a quantum shift. Enlightenment can happen right now. You are part of everything and everything is a part of you. All right, this is for your soul star chakra uh, and it activates and cleanses it. Um, and it's for living in the present moment. That is an amazing crystal. I cannot believe I've never heard of that before. Um, that's amazing. That is amazing. This could be this could be a, a, a spiritual awakening, and we can have many spiritual awakenings in our in our in our lifetime. Um, we can have different kinds. Okay. Um, I mean, we of course have our first spiritual awakening, you know, that, oh my gosh, we're connected to, to everything and everything is connected to us. And what we do, you know, and how we think reflects what reflects our reality. Okay. So that I'm, I'm talking about for those that may be going through something and have already had their spiritual awakening, you can have different kinds of spiritual awakenings, okay? There's of course the big one that I just ex that I just explained, but then there's when different parts of ourselves open up, when um, those can be very, very um, amazing, amazing things. Um, but for that to open up, for that to birth from us, for us to have that awakening, okay, stuff has to be eliminated from our lives. So that's this, you know, and it can come in the form of a tower moment, okay? Um, but this is why I say that I do not call this the death card, I call it the death and rebirth card. Um, because out of death, something something is birthed. Um, it's basic alchemy. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this was, this was going to happen, the universe, the universe wants this to happen, you want this to happen, this is, this is happening for an ultimate purpose in your in your spiritual path in your in your in your personal journey um, but you have the strength to get through this and you j there's a certain amount of control there's a certain amount of thinking there's a certain amount of stuff you just gotta let go of in order to ride the wave to get through this so I'm trying to think I really don't have any questions I really don't feel like there's anything left I can uh, pull from this reading I this is an amazing reading the energy there's so much energy it literally feels like something being turned over like completely over um and that and that may be what you're feeling right now that may be what you're experiencing right now 
Um, it may feel like your whole world is being turned upside down. The carpet's being yanked out from underneath you. Um, but the universe has you. Like I said in my last message, if you haven't watched that, make sure to watch that. But um, the universe has you. The universe has got you. And you can always call on your angels and spirit guides to help you through this situation. And if you if you feel like you need human, <laughs> you feel like you need like human actual like interaction and someone to talk to, you know, there 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 are, you know, depending on your situation, there are groups that can that that can help you. Uh, through this um, because I don't know because um, I don't know if this has to do with um, like losing somebody um, or if this is um, I it has to do it, it has to do with um, it has to do with financial uh, with with finances it that's that's a big that's a big part of it um so that's that's the best way to 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 get to get a human's attention okay and get them to look within and question everything around them is to take away um is to take away finances from them um because we're because in this society we're told, oh, if you just follow all the rules and everything, then then everything is going to work out, um, and that's, you know, that's not the case. And who wants to live by those specific rules, anyways? Because, I mean, that's quite oppressive. <laughs> those rules. All right. Um, Yeah, but but you may need to reach out to 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 like support groups to maybe um, someone that you can talk to a therapist um, you know another spiritual guru, a, a spiritual guru you know someone someone that you can uh, talk to or at least. You know, if maybe you don't want to talk about your situation, you can at least get positive affirmations. You can get positive, positive thoughts going in your head from. So um, definitely um, look at positive affirmations. Look at uh, different uh, channels on YouTube or on Instagram that 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 are heavily positive and help to build that confidence in you that you got this you got this okay because it can be very hard if you don't have anyone around that can that can uh, help remind you of how of how strong you are how much strength you have inside you Okay, if you don't have people around you that 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 let you know that, then you need to find 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 people, resources, outlets that that are instilling that message inside you. Okay. All right, because you you got this. You will get through this. You are experiencing you are experiencing an awakening uh, on some level it may be it may be your spiritual awakening but it may be a, a different kind of spiritual awakening it may be awakening something within you but you got this you got this you you have this it will be tough but you will get through and you will and you will be better for it you will be better for it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. And I hope you guys have an amazing Saturday today. And I will catch you probably Monday. 
So uh, have an awesome weekend. Love you guys. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I get when, whenever I post a new video. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied today. Uh, and uh, you guys have an awesome day. Much love and light to all of you.